Right lads, Carlingford. First of all, shout out to Discover Carlingford. I messaged them on Instagram and uh, the guy there was unbelievable help. He actually got us, uh, he's sponsoring this Say guest motel. House? Guest house, guest motel. House? Guest it's house. called Viewpoint uh, Guest House Motel, right on the sea. So yeah, shout out Discover Carlingford. If you're ever going to Carlingford, obviously just give them a shout. They'll tell you what to do. But now it's time to get down to business. We're gonna head into the town. We've got our sports first in the Carlingford Arms. They're giving us a steak and a pint, and then we've got the Holy Trinity, the three most requested pubs for a good pint of Guinness in Carlingford. PJ O'Hare's, Taft's, and Ma Baker's. So really just three proper pubs which is handy for us and i think they're all close together so i'll stop shining on and we'll head on five second room review at the viewpoint this is the room bed solid grand for little couples retreat it's actually a cool spot yeah bathroom cracking stuff viewpoint 10 out of 10. <laughs> right lads first spot Kind of an unofficial review, we've been, they reached out, they're putting us on a steak and a pint, apparently they're very stag friendly, so if you're in a bunch of fucking mammals, you're coming down here for the weekend, 20 lads, you can come into the Carlingford Arms, and I know a lot of places are a bit weird, we're taking big groups of lads for booking a dinner, they know they're just going to be piss heads, um, so yeah, in we go for a steak. <laughs> Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Thank you very much. Very good. Very good. Get that on camera. Come back. Come back. See the videos. Say again. You really love the videos. Love your, love your. Great contact. I gave him. I gave him twenty quid. Thanks, bud. I'm organizing me stack here. <laughs> Some job. Yeah. Oh my god, she's juicy. Tell me. Oh. Right, that's a serious mistake. A uh, little bit left, a bit of a bitch. But if I eat any more, Meg's made a good point. If I go home, I need the rest of it. But I'm not going home. I'm going on the pints. And we all know a full belly and Guinness do not mix. So, serious mistake. Decent pints as well. Um, yeah, again, stag friendly spot. Very few places seem to be like that. But if you want to, you uh, I'd say rock up here. You're coming on a stag. Rock up here around 3, 4 o'clock. Let's be honest, you're not eating this at 9 o'clock. 3, 4 o'clock. Steak, chips, onion rings, the fucking works. And a pint. You've got about 20 more pints and you're on your way. We love to see the hens and stags coming. They never give any bother. Never. Well, Are you come on now? Not in here. They don't get away with it in here, <laughs> yeah, you see. But our biggest, I suppose, seller is our steak and a pint. Yeah. So that first pint usually then leads to many more. Do you know? We're very relaxed. One or here. two more. And what if it gets to the boys rock up getting pretty rowdy? Who who's the enforcer in here? What's because we all we've all been in places where you see a group of stags and they're just on a mad one. How do you, you're obviously well used to that? Like how well used how to do it. you deal with them? So Sharon, who owns this place, has has owned it since she was 23 years of age. Right. So a young woman, do you know, starting out, yeah. she's had her fair share of rowdiness and yeah. carry on. So she's seen it all. She is a force to be reckoned with, yeah. you know, but she has a way of doing it that nobody's ever going to be slung out the door. Yeah. Do you know that kind of way? Sharon will get in with the group, like, talk to the lads, calm them down a Yeah, so they'd nearly be saying to each other, ah, lads, come on, they stop each exactly other. That's exactly what yeah. happens. Yeah. Do you know, they nearly, they respect her, like, she's yeah. doing it so long, she doesn't have to get heavy-handed with people. Yeah, of course. And we don't generally have an awful lot of trouble. Do you know yeah, that way? Yeah. The lads are always generally very well behaved. Uh, the crack is good. When they're starting to get a wee bit now, she'll come out and say, lads, come on, enough. Yeah, yeah. Sit down with them, maybe even yeah. have a drink with them. Maybe. Right lads, first official pub, first official review, Matt Baker's. If you pan over bags, you've literally got PJ yeah. O'Hare's within about five metres. And um, the mechanic for the arms is right there. <laughs> So we won't be doing much walk, and usually you walk off a few points, but that won't be happening here. Uh, so we're going to my Baker's. This it's like a <laughs> okay, wet on the way in. It's like a little postcard town. It's a bit like Dingle or something. It's colours. It's unbelievable. Let's go in first official review. Right, lads. First official review, Carlingford. We've only got three pubs. <coughs> Excuse me. 
so we don't really know what way it's going down. Also, to note, um, we got two points of Guinness, one brought in a new glass, one brought in a and all, also we got two points of Guinness, one in an old glass, one in a new glass. Um, the new glass was given to me, Begs was kind enough to give me the old glass. Um, so yeah, nice to have it in an old glass. Point looks decent, have a good one. Good bit of gear, happy with that. Happy with me old style glass. Literally a blender on in the background. <laughs> um, I'm sure you can hear me, but it's all about the point. God, we couldn't have timed this worse. <laughs> right, you can hear me now. Yeah, serious little pub, perfect little size for a pub. I'd say they, I'd say good for a trad if they had it. Great for a lock-in. Small, cozy little pub, fire's on. What more could you ask? It's actually quite chilly outside, so. I'm afraid it's not going to be quite a 10, but it's a good point. Definitely going to pass the shtick test. I'm quite happy with it. I'm not blown away, like blown my absolute socks, jocks and bleeding knickers off. But it's a very good point. It's gotten to a stage now where I, I'm trying to remember all the different scores. A couple of people saying I've been fairly, um, especially in Liverpool, saying I was fairly soft with my scoring lately. So maybe I'm going to have to start clamping down. But again, the Liverpool, that was like a UK scale. Um, not being anti-British ratting, but the points just weren't as good over there. So a seven in the UK is probably like an Irish six. But if I give this, whatever I give this, that's just the score. I'm kind of torn. Good point. Could probably be, see if I'm not giving the monster score, I have to give the reasons why. So it's very good stick. The head could have been a tiny bit bigger. Perfect temperature. Maybe because the head wasn't super big, it wasn't the creamiest point I've ever had, but it's very good stick, so I don't know. I'm going, I, I can't quite give in to the eight club. I'm going 7.9 for my bakers. A very good start. An official first review, 7.9 out of 10. All glass, we march on. I say we march. We take about, we go out the door, we take about two steps to PJ O'Hare's. I actually think, Begs, we might go to Taft's because it's a little bit of a walk and then walk it's back to PJ O'Hare's. Yeah, but I, the thoughts of literally going outside, that's why it's usually good. I have, a, I have about five, ten minutes in between pubs, have a bit of a walk, but like, I'm literally having this going straight inside. So we're going to go to Taft's, about a ten second walk as opposed to a one second walk. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on there. Great little pub, my bakers. So, sorry, lads. Second pub, Taft's. I thought we had a bit of a walk. It was literally about the three pubs. Are, I'm not joking you. Within 30 meters. Poppers is bigger than the street. Yeah, 100. percent So, there's the lads. Guinness, yeah. He loves it. Hey, I can't. I got. I got up to the window. Hold on. <laughs> He loves it. I there can we barely go. even see. Um, <laughs> so yeah, disco bar, let's just go in and see what happens. What are you with a crew? You're with your man who was screaming out the window. Peter, how are you? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good. Yeah, really well. Uh, well, like. Can I just say something? I say, yes. I'm tall. You're tall. Ah, come on, Peter. I'm fucking tall. You landed the giants around here. Are you? Are you yeah, two, two points. Uh, Man, you picked up some class, legendary stuff. I've been doing that for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you're yeah. 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 like yeah. 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 it. See, or are we just fucking chilling here? But we 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 say nothing. Say nothing till you hear more. Yeah. We're definitely gonna see it. Yeah. Ah, 
no, you're grand. Go on. No, no, no. no gee, I'm not taking it. I can do it here or I can like it's yeah. what do you what do you do? That's I, I just drink it and review it. Yeah. What a turnaround. Reminds me of Charlie Sabella Skinner. Come on, Sebella, so you're on the set behind the drinker. Yeah. Our mate so you see, see our mate Grant. Yeah. yeah. He sends us all your videos and he messages you today and on the same he says stag do weekend. Yeah. It's so his stag do weekend. Come on, so you're on the video. Yeah, you're on the camera. Go with the flow, as the kids say. Ish. Yeah. Right, uh, here in the monks, the carnage of Grant. Grant, yeah, yeah. Grant Stag. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't get too embarrassed when he sees this on Monday. The boys don't seem too bad. I'd say another two hours, they wouldn't want to be on the camera. But yeah, pressure's on. I was only saying, lads, we're in Ma Baker's five minutes ago. Walked in, no one gave a shite. Guinness yeah. Guru who? Oh yeah, Grant. I was thinking, is this just going to be everything? Walk in here, place the ropes. That's what we want. It's about the Guinness, it's more about the crack. Um, so yeah, fucking slant your talks. Talk amongst yourselves, lads. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just watching you drink. I actually think it's creamier. I always go on about the new style of glass, but I'm probably going to have to shut up about it eventually because people don't really seem to give a shit anymore. Old style, new style. I, I used to say, I would have thought, if I'm telling someone I'm reviewing a pint, they'd automatically think, as a, as a barman, you'd automatically go to give an all side glass. Doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. So, oh, I, I still prefer the all, I, I, it's not gonna change overnight, but I'll get used to it, even though it's been like nine years, but shut up. It's a good point though, I'm liking it. We've got the lads here on the stag. We've got a rowdy hen over, over the place. You saw the, good stick on that, Granty. We saw the barman fucking trying to shush the girls. They will not be silenced. They don't give a bollocks. I think he thought they were shouting at me. They're clearly not. They don't give a fuck who I am. Girls don't know who I am. That's grand. It's all about the lads from the stage. Not here for you, no? <laughs> for him. <laughs> Definitely not for me. Um, yeah, points good. Again, thanks for the lads. Thanks to the lads for letting us sit down because it wasn't a seat in the house. We're just going to stand at the bar. Very good point. I gave Ma Baker's uh, 7 8, 7 9. I think we'll break the 8. Yeah. I, I do think oh, we'll break oh, the 8. Oh, Were oh, you oh. in Ma Baker's? Oh. No? Were you in PJ's? Just walk up here. Never left. Never left. Three days straight. All they see is four walls. <laughs> you gotta love it. The kind of place you like. Can't Why get, the hell would I go can't, anywhere else? Can't I, I can, but I won't. I'll actually think it's slightly more. What are you saying? You've had about 20 and so far. Push stick, he got the old glass. Grant gets the old glass. I hate to give me a better one than you. But it's four grand. I'm trying to get the right. I said, I said, that's a meeting. 8.5. 8.5. Bit high. 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 Bit
Yes, and hot pills for the drink. Come in. You put on the monster since two o'clock. Honestly, the best steak I've had all day. Honestly. Right, lads. My sponsors are the people who really make these videos possible. They're the ones that are actually funding them. So today's video is sponsored by, of course, my good friends at Manscaped. The new lawnmower 4.0. You thought the 3.0 was good. It was. This is better. Boom. Weed whacker. Shove it up there. Get those rotten fucking hairs gone. In the ears. In the ears. I've said it before and I say it again. Crop preserver genuinely my favorite product because you can absolutely scalp your stomach, scalp your pubes. And usually then for the next like week your t-shirt will be rubbing off, it'll be all itchy. Just absolutely lather this stuff onto you all over the belly and pubes and it doesn't chafe. Last but not least in my little bag of tricks, the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. What comes to mind is you spend the day with your girl, maybe you haven't showered that day, you're going for a shag, your genitalia might be a bit meldy. Say no more. Bob's your uncle, Mary's your auntie. In you go, shag away. So lads, to avail of 20% off, I think Gordon Ramsay, so lads, to avail of 20% off, plus free shipping, go to manscaped.com, use the promo code PINT20 for 20% off, everything on the website. The performance package 4.0 is the BS NEAS. And as always, you use that promo code. It helps me out. It supports the channel, supports the videos, supports the points. Back to the video. Sound, lads. Are we on? Yeah, we're going. Alright, lads. Third pub. Kind of fourth pub. Uh, it's about nearly 10 o'clock, so I'd say this will be the last one. Again, I don't really care what happens because the carnage in um, Tafts was just unbelievable. And again, and it was a good point as well. I got people commenting saying, ah, it's too much now about having loads of lads around it. That just makes a good video, but the point was good as well. PJ O'Hare's, don't know if we'll even get in, it seems very busy. Our lad just walking by staring, going, who is this absolute clown with a camera in his face? That's the life. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. He is filming something there. Filming a video. Video. 40. Oh, very good. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> Two Guinness, please. Bag of <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Split the G. Let's go four gulps in that. What you looking at, Bags? Do you know what, actually, in another, in another 10 seconds, so you went too, you didn't go far enough, so yours is rising, in 10 seconds that's going to be, that's going to be the most perfect one you'll ever see. But we don't end it here, straight up. Skip the 10 seconds. Raw dog. But no, good point, all glass. Yeah, another few seconds, that's going to be absolute G-string splitter, baby. Stick something good on this. Yeah, serious beer gun. Uh, the man was saying the roof was like retractable. I said, did you only get that for COVID? I said, nah, mate, 10 years you have it. So, yeah, right job. I said they're very expensive, but if you can if you can do it right, big massive telly, you're talking, if Ireland were ever not shit enough to get to like a World Cup or something, no offense. Uh, you come here and watch it, so yeah, serious spot. Probably feels like quite a stag friendly outside sort of spot. But yeah, uh, that's creamy stick on that. Thick stick is what you want. Not just fall on the side. From the ringage, it actually like comes in and making no sense. that's going to be the best stick because it's not just about being white all the way down if you can get in there you can actually see it's like leaving proper cream on the outside of it I have to give a shout out Kieran what's his name? 
Kieran uh, brought us in, gave us the table, bought us the points. Um, yeah, good skin. Shout out, Kieran. Very good point. I have to decide now is it because it, there's only been three really. I have to decide what's the best in the village. This one's good. My stick is looking better than yours, babe. It's a, I think it's a great point. It was a very decent point in tops. But for me, it's better than tops. The stick is unbelievable. All glass, perfect temperature, creamy. A very good point. Look at the stick, lads. That's all I need to say. 8.4. Guinness Guru, best point in the town. A lot of people watching this coming on a stag. Here's my advice. If you've got like 8, 10 lads and they're they're not the maddest cunts in the world, by all means, pump the carving for it. Same applies for a hen. But if you're one of those like lads, like a rugby lad or someone who has like 30, 40 lads, I wouldn't come here. I think you're kind of there's a lot that can go wrong. I think all the bouncers and all around the place kind of have a bit of a system going where you get fucked out of one place, you're not getting in anywhere else. You're probably better off with a big group like that going to a big city. But if you're a small slagger hen, all day long, you're under 15, you're, people. Under 15 people. Carly Curt is your only man. Thanks for watching, lads. Uh, see you in the next clip. Yeah. Right, hold on, hold on. Right lads, we're at Escape HQ, uh, David was on to me, we've come down, basically it's a place where you can go in, we will show you, you do the escape room for like an hour, it's obviously a good spot for hen stags, uh, you do the cube, you saw it in there, oh fucking mad, beep beep beep. This is our different right, escape room. Yes. Now we're going in the escape room, so you have to like TV Okay, so you have to work out different things are in here. I just Stop know it's you. just not. Just a sequence. Oh, just a sequence. It's creepy music. Just different doors you have to open. It's very cool. It takes about an hour. There's a lot of stuff to do in here now. Do this now. Do it. Go on. For a fiver. Fiver? Yeah, go on. Ah. <laughs> How do you stop it? Right. Sure. Wait, come on. Right, come on. I'm going to give you these bites. Yep. Take the bites. Um, and also, probably the best thing was he could rent these bikes. So he's going to show us e-bikes. I've never been on an e-bike, but right, yeah, let's have a look. Right. Now. Yeah. Special treatments. Right. I get the boss's I'm bike. Gonna... This is unbelievable, this bike. Right, make sure you explain it, because I don't okay. want to break your bike. No, listen, it's straight, really straightforward. It's just a regular bike. Yeah. This is your gears. Down and up, right? Yeah. Your back brake is on your left. That's the most important. Yeah. And that's it. It's just a regular bike. Just cycle like a regular bike. You're going to go up that hill there in a fucking minute. Right, right. here, I'm going to put this way up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is unreal. You're going to love it. And it's just just a regular bike. Just don't, don't worry about it. It's going to just help you. <laughs> yeah. Ah, some job. Right lads, we're heading off. Um, yeah, great night. Carling for the arms. PJ out here, it's my bakers, taffs, literally within 50 meters. And then today, got up, bit of breakfast, bit of fucking looking at boats and shit. E bikes, escape rooms, all that. Shout out Kieran again. Um, that's Carling for the lads. David. What did I say, Kieran? <laughs> Sorry, Kieran. Shout out. It is David. David. It's David, yeah. Shout out David at the Escape Room HQ, or just Escape HQ. Yeah, grab some merch if you want to support the channel. And thanks for watching. We'll be back next week ish.